In this video, you're going to learn about configuring the Teleport SSH proxy to use X509 certificates, also known as SSL or HTTPS certificates issued by Let's Encrypt. Teleport is a Linux daemon for providing secure access to cloud infrastructure and applications via SSH or Kubernetes. Teleport is open source. It was built as a drop-in replacement for OpenSSH to access all your cloud environments and IoT devices. In this video, we will be following the gravitational article located at gravitational.com forward slash blog forward slash let's encrypt dash teleport dash SSH. Let's Encrypt is a free automated and open certificate authority run for the public's benefit. It is a service provided by the Internet Security Research Group. Two key highlights to know about Let's Encrypt are the process of validating a certificate domain is automated and a certificate issued by Let's Encrypt is valid for just a couple of weeks and must be renewed frequently. We'll use domain validation based on the HTTP ACME challenge, which works by provisioning an HTTP resource under a well-known URI. In our case, it's demotest.gravitational.io. This means that port 80 on the Teleport Proxy server machine must be available and accessible by Let's Encrypt servers. In the following demo on an Ubuntu 18 machine, we will install CertBot, obtain a certificate from Let's Encrypt, and finally, configure Teleport to use the new certificates. The first thing I'm going to do on this Ubuntu 18 machine is install CertBot, which is the official Let's Encrypt client. On Ubuntu, I will enter sudo apt-get install CertBot minus Y. If you're using a different flavor of Linux, you can find those install instructions on the Let's Encrypt website. Once CertBot is installed, I can obtain a certificate using the following command sudo certbot cert only dash dash standalone minus d demo test dot gravitational dot io minus n minus minus agree minus tos minus minus email equals my email at gravitational dot com i'll explain these different flags minus minus standalone means to use standalone domain validation this will cause certbot to launch a web server listening on port 80 to respond to an acme challenge this is also why we have to run this command under sudo. Otherwise, certbot will not be able to bind to this port. Minus D is the domain we're requesting a certificate for. Note that this should be a valid domain owned by you. Minus N means to run this non-interactively. Minus minus agree minus TOS tells Let's Encrypt that you agree with their terms of service. And minus minus is your email address. By default, this command will create the slash etsy slash let's encrypt directory and populate it with various files. We're mostly interested in slash etsy slash let's encrypt slash live slash demo test dot gravitational dot io. We'll need the private key, privkey.pem, and the full chain certificate fullchain.pem to configure the teleport proxy. Open slash etsy slash teleport.yaml and make sure it contains the HTTPS cert file and HTTPS key file fields. Lastly, we'll restart the teleport proxy and it should now be able to serve a valid HTTPS certificate running on demotest.gravitational.io. As we mentioned earlier, a certificate issued by Let's Encrypt is valid only for a few weeks, which means it must be renewed periodically. You can run this command periodically as root. 
Be sure to also view the Let's Encrypt Rate Limit guidelines on their website. This command forces the renewal of the certificate. The teleport proxy must be restarted after it runs. Another option is to run the command more frequently, but you will need to drop dash dash force dash renewal flag. CertBot is smart enough not to touch a certificate if it's still valid. You can configure this command to run as a cron job, or you can use systemd timers. The CertBot package from Ubuntu 18, which we used for this video, comes with the pre-configured systemd timer, which you can configure by editing these two files. To recap, here's what we have done to configure the teleport proxy to serve HTTPS content using a certificate from Let's Encrypt. One, Install CertBot on the same server where a teleport proxy is running. Two, make sure the port 80 is available and accessible by the Let's Encrypt servers. Three, use the standalone domain verification method. Four, update the teleport configuration in slash etsy slash teleport.yaml. Five, create a systemd timer which renews the certificate and restarts the teleport daemon. This concludes an overview of using Let's Encrypt certificates with the Teleport proxy. Teleport is open source. We invite you to try Teleport by visiting github.com forward slash gravitational forward slash teleport. Thank you for your time.